Oh, hello and welcome. Uh, today I'll be actually clarifying something we did in class that caused a lot of confusion for all of us. Uh, it's how to find time difference when you have two different time periods and one of them is in AM, one of them is in PM. And the thing is, it sounds super easy, but then when we actually did it in class, it was relatively difficult. We all had different answers. So let's, uh, let's try to find a better, more visual way of trying to solve these problems. So this is what the actual question is. So the question is asking this, and this is a question 3D from page 39. Basically, find the time difference between 3.42 p.m. and 6.08 a.m. the next day. And that's, I think, that's what really caused the confusion and also the fact that some of us or a lot of us, what, did, what we did is uh, find the difference between 42 and 8. Let me just use a different color here. So between 42 and 8, which gave us uh, 30 no 34 minutes and that was actually wrong we did this incorrectly so let's try to find a correct way of doing this so to help you visualize this let's imagine that there is a railroad that's basically in a circle that represents time and every once in a while every hour or so there's a station so let's just say there's going to be 12 different stations starting with this is a midnight oops this right here is midnight three o'clock, six o'clock, and nine o'clock. And here's the ghetto train we'll be using to get around. So this train needs to stop at every station every hour. So starting with 3.42 p.m., which is right here somewhere. This is 3.42 p.m. This is our first stop. Or actually that's where we start and the first stop is going to be at four o'clock so at four o'clock which is going to be right here somewhere this is four four p.m it's our first stop so what you have to do is find the difference between these two points and that has to be in minutes and uh, basically 60 minutes minus 42 minutes will give us 18 so this is 18 minutes then we keep going from four o'clock until midnight. So from four o'clock until midnight, we just keep going and going and going and going and going. And midnight minus four, or basically 12 minus four will give us eight hours. So from this station to this station, it's eight hours. So, so far what we have, I'm going to write it on the bottom. We have 18 minutes. And then we also have, let's use different color. We also have eight hours and that's day one. Now on day two, we have to stop at another value. And this value is 6.08 a.m. So it's right here, 6.08 a.m. So in other words, after midnight, you're going to be going forward again, and you're going to be going for six more hours. So we're going to write down six more hours. And then we also have eight more minutes. So it's 6.08, so that means plus eight more minutes so right here plus eight in other words we have to add eight more minutes here and that's our final stop and now we just have to combine these two so we sum them up and what we get is six plus eight is 14 hours and 18 plus eight is 26 minutes and that's actually the final answer one of us in class had this answer mine was a little bit different yours was also a little bit different but this is really the more um, the easier, more visual way of finding this. Hopefully this helps you a little bit because for some reason, this simple question gave us a lot of trouble. All right. Thank you for watching and good luck.